Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In the studio today, I have a PC, a Linux PC, that fits in the palm of your hand. Literally. You know, being a tech YouTuber, there's a lot of perks when it comes to this job, and one of my favorites is that I get to check out some awesome hardware that companies send over to the Learn Linux TV studios for me to review. And today I have the Pico PC in the studio, and I'm going to give you my thoughts about it. I had a lot of fun checking out the Pico PC, which XTO was nice enough to send over to the studio for me to check out. And this device advertises that it's compatible with Windows as well as Linux and it features a quad-core CPU, up to eight gigabytes of RAM, up to a one terabyte SSD, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. And also, it claims to be ultra silent. So in this video, what I'm going to do is put it to the test. The review unit that I was sent shipped with Windows, which I promptly removed, and I replaced with a Linux distribution, I'll tell you which one later in the video, and then I put it through the test, and I've actually had this unit for several weeks now, so I've had a decent amount of time to check it out. In this video, I'm going to give you all of my thoughts. I'll let you guys know what I think about the Pico PC. And by the end of the video, you'll be able to make the determination if this is a good fit for your use case. But before we get started though, I do wanna give you guys my usual disclaimer. As always, I reserve full creative control over all the videos on this channel, and this review is no exception. In fact, the policy on Learn Linux TV when it comes to hardware reviews is quite clear. It's right there on the website. Any company that sends me a product for review does so at their own risk. I'll always give you an honest and unbiased opinion, and I never let vendors screen my content before I upload it. So actually you're seeing this review for the first time at the same time as the vendor. So let's get into it. First of all, let's take a look at the hardware. The Pico PC is super tiny. It's smaller than an Intel NUC, and it even has a smaller footprint than a Raspberry Pi. So if you're looking for a small PC, I haven't personally seen one smaller than this, at least not yet. And the small form factor means that it's not just a potential fit for a small desktop. It could also be used as a tiny multimedia PC as well. Not only that, you can also consider using it in your home lab for lighter weight server tasks. And the Pico PC has a decent selection of ports, with at least one notable exception. On the front, we have two USB ports, as well as a card reader. And on the back, we have two more USB ports, a USB-C port for power, a headphone jack, and HDMI out. While the number of ports are decent, the fact that we only have one HDMI port and no physical Ethernet jack is definitely a downside. By comparison, the Raspberry Pi 4 has two HDMI ports and is not missing Ethernet. Now, to be fair, you could always plug in an Ethernet dongle, but the port selection is a bit limiting, to be honest. Now, when it comes to specs, the CPU that's used inside the Pico PC is the Intel Celeron J4125. This CPU features four cores with a base clock of 2 GHz, and it can boost up to 2.7 GHz. So already, while the Pico PC is missing a few of the ports that the Raspberry Pi has, it does have a faster processor, so you can expect better performance when compared to a Pi. While the performance is decent, the CPU is based on Intel's Gemini Lake, which is one generation behind. This particular CPU was actually released in quarter four of 2019, and I'm checking this out here in 2022. But when it comes to this PC, it might not matter, but I thought I'd point it out just in case you're curious. Continuing with the specs, this unit features up to eight gigabytes of RAM, up to one terabytes of solid state storage, Bluetooth, and Intel UHD Graphics 600. So overall, I'd say the specs are decent. Now let's talk about Linux compatibility. For my tests, I decided to go with Pop! OS in order to test out Linux compatibility on this model. And you know what? It worked perfectly. I didn't need to source any drivers at all. Everything worked out of the box. So when it comes to XDO's claim that their device supports Linux, well, it actually does. Now let's take a moment to talk about performance. In my test, the performance of the Pico PC was good, but unfortunately, not great either. As I mentioned earlier, the Pico PC definitely outperforms the Raspberry Pi. There's no question about that. Apps and web pages open faster on the Pico PC than on the Pi, but even then, 
It still feels a little sluggish sometimes, but not to the point where it's a huge problem. When I open up a web page, for example, with nothing else running, you can actually see that the CPU maxes out while loading pages. And it does this pretty much every time. But then again, the device also recovers quickly, so it's not a huge problem like I mentioned. I bring this up to make sure that you are aware that while the performance is good overall, you are still likely to notice some lag every now and then. So what about noise? The vendor claims that this is an ultra-silent PC. Well, is it? Well, unfortunately, it's quite loud. In fact, while I was testing it out, it's easily the loudest device in the studio. It's even louder than my full-size desktop. I was quite surprised by how loud this model is. It's to the point where it's totally distracting and I had to move the unit further away so I wouldn't hear it as much. Personally, I really don't think I can use this device with how noisy it is. So immediately I reached out to XDO. I just wanted to know, is this expected or, you know, what's going on here? Because it claims to be an ultra silent PC and at least for me, it's totally not. So I sent them an email to let them know about the problem to see what exactly they'd have to say about that. And in the email, I actually sent them a video recording of the noise. And I was actually a bit surprised by the response that I received. For example, quote, Maybe your camera mic is high quality and it picks up other background noise as well. Now, I'm not trying to brag or anything like that, but I have been working in the industry for well over two decades now, so I think I've come far enough along in my career to know the difference between the noise coming from a review unit and something else in my studio. But also, they did mention that the unit that I received was actually a prototype, and it's possible that the production unit, which I'll be receiving next month, might not actually have that problem. So what I'm going to do is just wait for the replacement unit that they promised me. They told me that I should be receiving that next month. And as soon as I receive it, I'm going to find out if the noise problem continues. And if it doesn't, I'll let you guys know in the comments down below. I will pin a comment letting you guys know that the problem has been resolved. So overall, what's my opinion about the Pantera Pico PC? Honestly, I'm a little mixed. I do think it's quite neat that it's so small. It's definitely a very tiny computer, and the small size makes it a great fit as a home theater PC. But then again, being ultra small just for the sake of being ultra small, I'm not 100% sure that the trade offs are worth it. That said, while there are some rough edges when it comes to the Pico PC, it is really neat and it does actually support Linux very well. I've had no trouble with Linux whatsoever. So that's a good thing. And also, like I mentioned earlier, the performance is good. It's not great, but it is good. So that's a plus. But adjust your expectations accordingly. This is not going to be the fastest computer in your office, but it's good nonetheless. Also, it has quite a few ports. It has four USB ports, a headphone jack, an HDMI port, a card reader, like I mentioned before. But then when you compare it to the Raspberry Pi, which has two HDMI ports and a physical Ethernet jack, there is a benefit on the Pi side of things on that end. But then again, the Pico PC is going to outperform the Pi, so depending on which one is more important to you is going to determine which small computer you're going to go with. But the biggest problem that I had with the device is the loud fan. It is super, super loud. So I don't know if there's something wrong with my unit, if something happened during shipment. Like I said, I'll find out when they send me a replacement unit and I'll let you guys know in the comments. But for now, it makes it really hard for me to recommend this because you know, it's really distracting for me to hear this computer and it's so loud. So, you know, I really don't think I could work around that. But I'll let you guys know if that changes and we'll go from there. So what's your favorite small form factor Linux computer? Let me know in the comments down below. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. And I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.